how people always say that St. John people are super friendly? Freaking true. It's so freaking true. My first week here, I made a new friend with the bus driver, Doug. Shout out to Doug. <laughs> and uh, he is just freaking amazing, but uh, it's not just him. It's literally everyone here. Everyone here is just amazing. Seriously. My name's Dan Thompson. I'm the CEO and founder of Italic. We are a digital printing company based in Toronto and now with a premise here at the St. John Airport in New Brunswick. My name is Sean Irvine. I'm a co-owner here at Italic Press. I work with a lot of the high-end clients that we work with in Toronto on a daily basis. We're a printer, but we're much more than a printer. We elevate brands. We do a lot of work with high-end retailers all across Canada, actually. We have installer teams that will dress stores. I think Goose Bay Labrador is probably the most remote that we do, and I can't really I've never been, I have to get up there, but it's, it's, a, it's hard to install in February in Goose Bay, Labrador, and all the way across to Vancouver Island. We've been able to do some work for some fairly well-known celebrities, including Ariana Grande. That work comes through Scotiabank Arena, and so whenever Scotiabank Arena throws an event or a concert, they like to gift the band or whoever it may be that, they, that comes through a very customized gift, and we help them through that process. We've done work for Justin Timberlake, Ariana Grande, Russell Peters, to name a few. They upload photos of their gift to social media, and the Ariana Grande piece got 22 million views. So it's pretty special when the work that you're doing is, you know, is having that sort of impact, that many eyes. In 2018, we made the decision to move home to St. John, New Brunswick after being away for so long. And it was a great decision, not only for our kids, it was primarily for the kids, to be honest. We wanted them to have roots in the province that we both loved and to experience that before they grew up and, and then you know, had to make their journey in the world, wherever that may take them. We were able to get a beautiful facility here that was pretty much ready to go. It was kind of plug and play, minus some of the equipment. And not only that, but you know, the attraction of the, the people here, the labor force and the labor market that we can draw here was certainly attractive. So that was a, a, a big draw to, to move some of the equipment into New Brunswick. Is there anyone willing to come down and, and experience what, what I feel is a lovely working environment here in New Brunswick? And, and one of our employees, Tanya Hunt, accepted the challenge. She laid down the gauntlet. My name's Tanya, however, I prefer to be called T, and I'm a pre-press specialist at Italic. I've worked here for over two years, and I just recently moved to the New Brunswick branch. What happened actually is that Dan made an announcement to the company that he was going to open a facility in New Brunswick. When we found out that he was opening a place in St. John, I contacted him like right away. I was like, hey, just so you know, it's like in my 10 year plan to, to move to the Maritimes. And he was like, how about in like two months? And I was like, oh, okay. S slow down there, Cap. But, uh, <laughs> like, I, I have a lease. Come on now, calm down. But yeah, that's how I ended up uh, slowly making my way over to St. John.
Look, it's a real privilege for me to be able to work and live here in the province of New Brunswick. We are, our family is now a family of two locations. We definitely have our urban roots. It's been great now that we have the ability to call New Brunswick home because we have now rural experiences and nature experiences that weren't previously unavailable to us. The quality of life has been probably the best addition to our lives by living here. Being able to go out onto the river, onto the ocean with our, our boat, to be able to hike the trails, to be able to be alone, honestly, and, and feel that idea of silence and awe that living in New Brunswick can provide you at every corner. We also enjoy our urban things, so we have the ability to quickly fly out of our location here at the St. John Airport and be in Toronto. I do one day stints and, you know, we'll meet with clients and come back. We might produce work here and I might bring it with me because what we're producing is small, but we are very lucky to be living in this province. don't want to just see concrete and cars every day, then it's a really nice change of pace, I have to say. <laughs> I just don't think that there was any more room in Ontario for me to go to. And when you combine that with the ocean, it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll go there. <laughs> How lucky can you be to live in Canada and live by the ocean? Just saying. This printing company, Italic, grew in Toronto. We Kendra, my wife and I had lived in Toronto. We raised two boys in Toronto. We'd been there for 25 years since graduating university. And we're Maritimers. We wanted to make it back. We had a plan, a five-year plan at one time, but the five-year plan just kept getting repeated and pushed out as we did okay in the city. And we love Toronto, don't get me wrong. But there was always a real gnawing feeling to get back. As we're growing and as we're now situated in the province, we find ourselves in this really interesting spot where we're starting to have collaboration between Toronto and St. John that didn't exist before we were here. We had an artist in Toronto do a series of plaids and now through various conversations and, and sort of like a almost a dare, we, uh, we wrapped our building in one of her plaid creations and Honestly, it's really great to be able to bring new ideas to an otherwise, you know, urban industrialized looking space here at the St. John Airport. It's, it's been a really great labor of love. I'm definitely an entrepreneur, I know that, but to be able to work in a way that is self-guided, self-funded, it, it, it is really the true meaning of freedom for me.